Welcome to Macy's Cooking Corner. I'm your host today, Afro Danes, and we have Emily here in the kitchen with us. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well. Oh. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. You know why as well? I'm really into the health. I believe that everyone should be vibrant and they are when they're really healthy. And I found Emily, <laughs> my dear friend from Santa Quinn. And um, tell us your story a little bit. I think people want to know, the okay. people of Spanish folk would want to know <laughs> how you got into the, the healthy era, you know, the, the you know, getting right. to be more healthy orientated. Okay, great. Well, about four years ago, I was 70 pounds heavier than I am now. And oh, I, I was imagine just, that. oh, yeah, we, we've got pictures, we've got documentation. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it, it happened. And, um, I had tried everything that I could think of to lose weight, the Weight Watchers, Lean Cuisines, mm -hmm. you know, the Slim Fast, all of those things. Mm -hmm. And um, just eventually I got to the point that I just couldn't Do it live that way anymore. I just right. felt terrible all the time. Uh -huh. And I think that's the, the biggest thing. I felt terrible all the time. And so I wore out my library card, Ooh. renting or renting, checking out every book that I could find mm -hmm. on health and nutrition. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, through that research, I decided that our family needed to cut out processed foods. The whole family does it? Yes. And how did that change? For, you know, how did that change? <laughs> well, we had to do it baby steps yes. because, you know, I have kids I who, yes. so do I. Yes. you know, it's hard to make big changes all at once. And I have, you know, the big kid, the husband. That My, yes. Crazy. He, he wanted to make sure he was still eating yummy food. That's right. It's very important. Absolutely. So, yeah, we did one step at a time, and eventually we've just come to really love this new lifestyle. Mm. And, and how has your energy been? Oh, s through the roof. Right? It is amazing how mm -hmm. I just feel so vibrant every day. Mm -hmm. I can play with my kids. I can, right. you know, anything I, I want to do, I can do. Right. So and that's because wonderful. just because of the way you're eating. Exactly. And thinking, of course. Well, yes. <laughs> See, yeah. I, and I really, I really, really believe that, you know. It's I true. think. It just, uh, for me anyway, it does wonders when I eat a certain way mm -hmm. and then every now and then I'll test myself and eat this other stuff. Like I said, I even had a, tasted a donut today. <gasps> Can you believe that? <laughs> it was disgusting for you people out there. No, I'm <laughs> but you <laughs> feel it. The sugar you do, hits you, it does. and it weighs you down, yes. and you can feel it, that crash and just the, I don't know, I, my belly is even starts feeling a little sick. Yes. Absolutely, so, but because yeah. we're a joyful place, right? <laughs> Macy's Cooking Corner. I noticed that she, um, Emily went to Macy's and bought quite a few things, and today mm -hmm. you're going to make, what are you going to make? It's a caprese quinoa salad, and this mm. was actually inspired by my own garden, because oh. right now, this is actually from my garden, this beautiful is basil. Is that basil? Yes. Oh, you call it basil. Well, basil. isn't that... Basil? B basil is, basil? that's how they say it over there, right? That's right, we yeah. say basil, yeah. I, I just say basil. basil. Okay. Either way. I always kill mine. <laughs> yeah. Mm, oh, I usually do, but this year, <laughs> this okay. year for some reason I got them Maybe to grow. And our, our beautiful tomatoes, mm -hmm. and so you put those with some mozzarella, you've got caprese. Oh, caprese. You add some quinoa, uh -huh. which has so good for you. Tons and tons of protein, right. so much nutrition. Um, and so that kind of fills it out and mm -hmm. really... Makes you feel good. And I have one more question. Yes. We have a new holistic nutritionist here, so why not ask, right? <laughs> so, you know, when people say, well, how are you, if you eat like that, you know, where do you get your protein from? Oh, huge. Is this huge sufficient? Source of protein. Would you say this is sufficient? Yes. This is dish? actually a complete protein. Most plant mm. proteins you need to pair with something else to make them a complete protein with mm. all the amino acids. Right. This is a complete protein. Wow, yeah. well, thank so, you. It's just the same as a steak, right, everyone? Just the same as a steak, <laughs> okay? And it tastes just as good. Just <laughs> <laughs> In a different way. Like, that's right. So, okay. Okay, so, so how I'll do you prepare it? Yes. Now, the first thing that I did um, already is quinoa, as it grows, it mm -hmm. actually comes, it grows with a... Uh, its own little pesticide on there. Mm. That if you just cook quinoa without rinsing it, uh -huh. it, it tastes a little soapy. Oh. So what I usually do, I measured out a cup and a half, okay. and I put some water in here and just kind of swished it around mm -hmm. and drained off the water. Mm -hmm. And that's all you have to do. It takes away. To take you, it away? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and it takes like away that. the bitterness and the, the soapiness uh, that can come with, right. with quinoa. And so I'm putting in a cup and a half. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take that long to cook, does it? 15 minutes. Oh, That's a easy. wonderful thing yeah. about quinoa. Anytime that I need like a rice dish uh -huh. or a, I'm just going to get some water. A, a rice, rice dish, dish. Um, I can 
use this instead. And it's just so fast. Right. And how much water are you adding right now? Three cups. Three cups. Yep. So you so do got twice as much water as you do quinoa. Okay. So 15 minutes, she added a cup and a half of quinoa mm -hmm. and three cups to three cups of water. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. And it's going to cook for? Right now, um, I have put it on high. Okay. And it will start to boil. And once it starts to boil, we'll drop the heat down to medium low and put the lid on. Mm -hmm. And about 15 minutes later, it will be done. Look at that. And can you add oil and salt and pepper? Or salt? I will usually add a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Um, I wait to add the oil until after it's done, usually. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Easy. Simple. We love easy. Okay, so we'll be right back in a few minutes. Welcome back. We have just cooked the quinoa and Emily's going to explain what she did with it after that. Okay. Well, you can actually serve this salad two ways. If you want to serve it warm, that's totally fine. I love that because when we need a nice quick meal, mm -hmm. we can throw this together in 15 minutes. And when you do that, the cheese melts down in and kind of makes it gooey. Is this Today, the Today, we actually cooled this down. <laughs> right. So, the magic of TV. Oh, we love um, it. <laughs> So it has been cooled down, and that will uh -huh. be great because when we put the mozzarella in, it mm -hmm. is going to just keep the, the mozzarella in its intact in right. the pieces. So um, what I'm going to do next is mm -hmm. just take this lovely basil, or basil. Basil. Wherever you're right. yeah. Basil, tomato, <laughs> potato. You know. Potato. What do you say for potato? I say potato. Oh, you say potato. So yeah. what do we say in England? Mm. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. All right, yes. Basil. So I'm just going to chop it. And you can do a fancy cut with basil that right. they do on the, like the TV shows, yes. the chiffonade. But it, you don't have to. You can no. just chop it, it up. Just like that. Yep. It's beautiful. It ends up being about half a cup chopped. Okay. I think that's good enough. Oh, and it smells great. Oh, I love yes. the smell. And this salad really does not need many seasonings because you have so much flavor in your basil. Right there. Mm. And I love that it's so fresh from the garden. So this comes straight from your garden? Not this one. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I was going to say. This game's I like the Macy's. container. Do you have yes. these here? <laughs> <laughs> we just keep these at home and, you know. Right. And I, all I'm going to do is just a quick half mm. on these. And I love that these are different colors. It just makes the salad so pretty when you're done. Right. And it's nice. I like this kind of food because it's summer, you want fresh, you don't yeah. want, you know, it's things that are heavy, right? Exactly. And you don't want to be slaving away in the kitchen all day. No. I, that's another thing, too. Yes. <laughs> when you do it this way, and well, then you become, you're full. You're, right. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. When you eat the right foods, when they're nutrient dense. Yeah. Your body is not crying right. for those nutrients right. and asking you to eat tons of food. Right. Because it doesn't need it. It needs... Exactly. That's very true, and I've always I've noticed that really. Mm -hmm. You eat less, or you can eat more of the right foods. And if it tastes good, mm -hmm. it's just as satisfying, Absolutely. if not more so. Yes, it really really helps. So how come you chose this? Some people might not know what. Oh, you okay. Know, mozzarella. This to. is more of a fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And so instead of it being that, you know, you can buy the block. Right. And that has just been so processed. It's the flavor is not as good. It's not as fresh. Mm -hmm. um, and these little guys are just, like this minions. is the way yeah. mozzarella should be made. Would you have me one of those? Absolutely. Things, Thank you. I'm just going to drain this And you bought this, this at Macy's, is that I correct? I did. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, if all that you have is the block, right. you can cut it into little cubes, oh, and that okay, would be pretty as well. Uh -huh. um, Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I love the colors. Mm. It just says summer to me. It really does. I love that. <laughs> so we'll just I think do... I'll come to your garden. So what did you grow? What have you grown in Oh, um, this year we have, I've actually done surprisingly well this year. Usually really? I'm, I have quite a black thumb. Uh -huh. But this year we have uh, three different kinds of tomatoes. Uh -huh. We have tomatillos and lots mm. of herbs. Uh -huh. We did corn on the cob. Oh. I love did that. Did you buy your um, seeds from 
different places or whatever? I bought them from uh, groworganic.com oh. because I wanted organic That's right. seeds. <coughs> you know, one thing that was funny, um, so when I've just come back, returned from Africa, and the corn there did not taste that oh, good, okay? No. So then we come up here and we're eating, I'm chomping on some corn here and I'm like, wow, this is sweet. And my, um, one of my friends go, you know, that's GMO. Oh, and I was no. like, oh, <laughs> all right, you know. But I don't Usually know. Usually the corn on the cob you can buy in the store is not GMO. Oh, really? How yeah. do you know? Um, there is only one huh. one place that manufactures or grows the, the here GMO in Utah? corn. Uh, in the U.S. Oh. And they only sell it in certain stores. Really? So, yeah. Huh. As long as you Did go to the right that. places. Yeah. So Macy's? Macy's, is, you're safe. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll go buy some. Really, <laughs> Macy's corn, everyone. <laughs> it's non-GMO. <laughs> so I just added about a teaspoon of salt. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to hit it with some. I love freshly Ground cracked pepper. Yes. Of course, you What's can the difference use, between it's this just, and the, you know, the ones that you buy that's already ground up? Um, the one that already ground up, it gets stale in the little can. Oh. It just the flavor is not there for me. I right. love the flavor yes. of the freshly so ground. Yeah, so do I. I like this too. Yeah, and then so just you know, I don't know. I kind of eyeball it, but about sixteen little turns. Yeah, turns. One for the road. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> and then the olive oh, yeah, oil. Olive We're going to add two tablespoons, just to give Same it some like nice, that, healthy fat. Macy's do this too. Yeah. I believe they have this organic olive oil. <laughs> A woman after my own heart. I yes. got this one too. <laughs> okay. And then all you do <clears throat> is mix it up together. That's so pretty. Oh, and so simple. That's... Mm -hmm. With, I have such a busy life. Right. Absolutely. When so dinner time comes. Exactly. You just want it quick. Yep. Quick, Absolutely. pretty, nutritious. That's it. And my kids will eat this. They love really? it. Really? Yes, they oh. down it. One of them will pick out the tomatoes, but yes. she'll learn. But exactly, she'll, with she'll time. She'll see the yes. lights. <laughs> and I've hey. noticed that, you know, when, you're, when you cook and there's nothing else around but what you put there, <laughs> they will eat it. Yeah, it's true. It's Absolutely. very true. The um, kids are not the ones hitting the drive through no. or <laughs> It is us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shame. Well, <laughs> you know what? This is beautiful. I'm going to taste it now. I've got my spoon ready. <laughs> okay. I'll go try it with the tomato. Mmm. <gasps> Good? Really perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Really delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And you didn't put that much salt, but no. everything, all the flavors mm -hmm. and the basil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is really the star of the show. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much to give it so mm -hmm. much delicious summer flavor. That's absolutely delicious. I'm, Thank oh, you. Really easy. So what did you need again? What did you um, um, have here? The quinoa. So mm -hmm. a cup and a half of uncooked quinoa. And I just mm -hmm. cooked it according to the package directions. Okay. So. Which you can also find at Macy's, by the way, but I'm not sure if it's this brand. Oh, yes, but they, but they have, have some. Quinoa. Yes. Uh -huh. um, and then we just added in some chopped basil, mm -hmm. some tomatoes. And you can use any kind of tomatoes. It right. doesn't have to be these cute little guys. But they're lovely. Um, yeah. And then the mozzarella. Right. Uh, a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, two tablespoons of olive oil. That's Perfect. it. Perfect. The next thing, what are you going to be cooking, Emily? Well, you have to have dessert next, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And what's that going to be? <laughs> I, I call it banana nice cream. Ooh, banana nice cream. Yeah. Non-dairy, of course, right? Well, yes. Of course. So, watch, stay tuned. We'll be back. Welcome back to Macy's Cooking Show. I have Emily and she's just made, what did she just make? The quinoa caprese salad. And it was absolutely delicious. And now she's going to make dessert. We're going to have banana nice cream. Banana nice cream, mm -hmm. non-dairy, gluten-free. What mm -hmm. else? Just Listen. good for you. And it's really good for you. It tastes <laughs> fantastic. I just know it because it's nutritious. <laughs> Love things like that. <laughs> and this you. is Emily Allen, but mm -hmm. she's not related to the Robert Allen, the you know, real estate guru. But anyway, that's something. <laughs> okay, so what's the first thing you're going to do? Well, this is a, so, so simple. Um, oh, I have these bananas. Simple. 
Uh -huh. um, a, one thing I love to do with my bananas when they're starting to turn brown, mm -hmm. or when you're at the grocery store and you see like the baker's bananas that are marked down. That's right, Macy's right oh, now yes. actually, I think. I don't know if there's any left, but they usually have that red yes, mark. Exactly. Yes, exactly. I love that. I see that and I stock Perfect. up. Yes. And then I will um, chop them like on a cookie sheet uh -huh. oh, and put oh. them in my freezer and that uh -huh. uh, freezes them in these little chunks. Oh, you're so good. I usually so. just break them up and put them in, you know, just peel it and put it in. <laughs> there you go. But I, I, always, I love having frozen chunks I for smoothies too. or for this. Right. Um, so if you will just dump all of those into... So how many bananas would you say this That's about four or five. So this is four or five bananas. Oh, yeah. I love that. And I've got a food... Pro is this a food processor or a A blender? food processor. Now, if you have one of those fancy high-powered blenders, oh, like that a would be great. Yes. I have one of those. Or a blend tech. So this is just a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Ooh. Now, any kind, I notice you put Hershey's. Well, is really, it? it should be a um, natural unsweetened. no alkaline. Oh, really? Yes. Um, because? The alkaline is just some extra processing. It's uh, metals that go into your body that mm. are just not good for you. And the ingredient says just cocoa, right? Exactly. Okay. That's Short nice. ingredient list. And you can buy this at Macy's. Yes, you can. <laughs> just add a splash of water. Now, mm -hmm. you can, if you have no problems with dairy, you can add milk. For this, oh, okay. you can add like uh, coconut almond, milk, coconut almond milk, milk okay. any of those, any kind of liquid that you prefer would be just mm -hmm. fine. Probably makes it um, creamier, would it? Yes, mm. it does. Kay. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up, and then um, we're going to see. I'm probably going to need to stop it a few times and add some liquid, and we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, it's smelling good. Yeah. You can smell everything. Now, this is that. really great because you can customize it however you want. If you just like bananas, mm -hmm. you don't have to put in the cocoa powder. Or you can add in some kind of a nut butter, or I've added oh. chocolate chips, or just whatever you feel like. Really? Throwing in there. And Little how many? So, if you added chocolate chips mm -hmm. or nuts or something, mm -hmm. how much would you put in? Half a cup or. Probably a quarter bananas. to a half. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Depending on how much, how many chocolate chips you want. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and that's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. Done. Look how creamy that is. Show. So wow. creamy. But on a nice cream. It turns out the consistency oh, of um, soft serve ice cream. Oh. So we'll just dish you up some that you can try. Oh, thank you. And so of course, the kids love this. Do they love it? They love so it. So could you add um, vanilla um, extract? Like yeah, that, I'm or? sure that would be delicious. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah, that. That's my favorite. Anytime I get an ice cream craving. But yeah, you just do this. I just indulge here and oh you my just goodness. feel so much better. Really delicious. <laughs> it's cold. Tastes banana-y, of course, right? Yes. And you can taste the chocolate too. Mm -hmm. And you can but add more over. chocolate if you right, want Right, but to. it's not overbearing. I like this. I'm not a chocolate ice cream oh, person. But there you go. This is delicious. Yay, mm. thank you. Mm, that's really good. Well, thank you so much, Emily. You're welcome. Well, easy recipes. Everyone can make something like this. Yes. You know? And, and you can find, uh, I have so many recipes on oh. my website. Oh. Um, it is uh, www.thatswhatieat.com. Mm, okay. So you're welcome to go there. We have lots of unprocessed food recipes and hints for changing over your own lifestyle. Fantastic. And they're so. easy recipes too? Always easy. Oh. I never want to do anything complicated. It has to be simple in my kitchen and Fantastic. delicious. Yes. It has to taste good. That, and so repeat that again, your website? www.thatswhatieat.com. That's what I eat. That's mm -hmm. what I eat. Dot com. I love that. Well, <laughs> thank, thank you so much for coming today. You're welcome. It's Thanks for having me. It's been a delight. Um, this is totally the way I like to eat. <laughs> love y'all, those that have come on my show. I've loved what they've cooked. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but this has been marvelous oh, today. Thank really you. marvelous. Thank you for coming. And thank you for watching our show here at Macy's in Spanish Fork. We look forward to seeing you next week, or you may come here at 7 o'clock on Thursdays. 
So, we will see you next week. Thank you.